the GearHeads Jeffick Gear Report. We're doing some dusk shooting here. Uh, right now we're going to show you, this is the Gibbs G4. It's a side charge upper. You see the charging handle right here. This is a non-reciprocating charging handle, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, it ejects on the other side. You see there's no brass deflector that's really built out, but it's got a little bit of one built in here. Uh, we haven't had much of an issue or any issue there. Uh, this is a Lucid M7 micro dot. Uh, on the front, I'll tell you, this is a Franken build. We've got all different parts here. Uh, Unique AR sent us their Jax 2015 pattern um, handguard. We're on top of a stainless Bear Creek Arsenal 16-inch M4 cut barrel. This is a 1 to 8 on the barrel with a wild chamber. On the end, look at this sucker. This is called the Castle. Closer, all right. This is called the Castle. This is from uh, R&J Firearms. It's a nice uh, muzzle brake for us here. It does a really good job and looks pretty wicked as well. Inside, we have, I don't know if you can see the little NF here for Newtown Firearms. This is a DLC bolt carrier group. So it's diamond-like coating. It's black, it is hard and slick, and it's pretty awesome. And then, of course, we got the AR sock on the magazine and the magazine. So we get to talk about just about everything on this rifle. The magazine is a brand new model from ProMag. They call it the Roller Mag. And the follower has wheels on the front and back. So instead of being a, a friction anti-tilt function, it actually has wheels to do that. So I think that covers pretty much everything on this one. So let's do some shooting real quick. All right. You ready? All right. Here we go. That's the five rounds we had in that mag. Uh, here, look at it again. That's just awesome. I really enjoy that. So let's switch it up. And uh, here we go. Hex mag. I, I just love how the little grip tape hexagons let you do uh, unique designs so you can tell which mag it is. So, like, I can do all my 300 blackout mags in one pattern. And all of the 223 in another pattern, for example. And you got different colored followers, is another way to tell whose it is and what it is. And they make cool shirts as well. So. That's enough of that one. We got so many guns to shoot, but we're going to change it up. And uh, Jose Juan's going to come back. This is the right-handed version of the Gibbs G4 side charge upper. So the charge handle's on the left side. Jose Juan's going to grab the one that's opposite. It's got the uh, ejection port on this side and the charging handle on the other for left-handed shooters. Which, you know, left-handed shooters, it's hard to find a good AR upper. But th this is really a slick piece. We've had absolutely no issues with it. Do I take the lower? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Here, you hold the hex mag. All right. I don't know if you guys have had any experience uh, with uh, the Gibbs Arms um, uppers, but it really fits on any standard uh, lower. Uh, one of the, the things that you got to watch out for is there's this little tab over here. That's where you would put your charging handle for the regular um, standard AR upper. Uh, but they have this hinged uh, plate that will cover up the hole so you can just put it into your lower you just got to make sure that you hold it down and then you pin it and that keeps it uh, closed up so here you go guys and uh, the beauty off of uh, the side charge uh, uh, upper that we have that Gibbs has um, designed is that you can actually have it on you and you can charge it without having to really move your face off from the side of the rifle. Plus, you keep your grip handle or your trigger hand on uh, your handle and on your trigger um, whenever you're charging it. So you can do it pretty much on target the whole time, um, ready to fire if you have any problems. Instead of doing the usual holding by the forearm, gripping a ball, charging, and then coming back on to the, the spot. So, 
Here we go, guys. So say uh, we have already one in the in the chamber, so we're gonna shoot. There you go. Well, I'll tell you what the uh, the muzzle brake on this. Bring that in here. This is another R and J oh, yeah, firearms. Right. This is called the Keg, and it's rotated a little bit. So it's got the two ports on top, three slits in each side. Let me tell you, I'm standing Did he just, just to you? the side. Yeah. I'm not in front of the barrel. I'm back, I'm back behind the barrel. And the first couple shots, the little concussion that came back off of that. Let me tell you, it got my attention. It, yeah. it shook the camera. It was something else. Uh, actually, that's one of the things that I was going to mention also. Uh, we've shot this ones before with the regular uh, castle um, style um, muscle blaster, muscle deflector on it. And um, yeah, I could feel the the rifle or the the rifle kicking a little bit more on my shoulder. So I was bracing a little bit more on this one. And um, I just realized that we had put that new muscle um, deflector on it. It's got a heck of a break on it, let me tell and, you. It, the, these R and J, uh, bring it in a little bit. These R and J, uh, the keg and the castle, they do a really good job. Uh, I, I'm really impressed with it. And bring the whole thing. Let's see. There you go. We have the uh, O H U H U O H U H U. Maybe is a company that sent this uh, bipod for us to check out. It's very similar to a Caldwell bipod. It attaches the same way. On this one, we've got the Bear Creek Arsenal. This is a diamond fluted. Uh, it's in 223 Wild. It's a 16 inch heavy barrel. Pretty awesome. Uh, we really enjoy it. This handguard is the JP Rapid Configuration Rail, and under it is the JP Adjustable Gas Block. So you can see that in there. We got a stainless gas tube uh, from uh, Roush. There you see the Gibbs G4, another Ohuhu product. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, they're, they're an importer. Uh, these are Chinese-made products that are imported and sold on Amazon. So if you're looking for, you know, they, they seem to work reasonably well uh, when we turn them on. Uh, you didn't even turn it on, did no, you? I didn't it's so dark that you yeah. can't really see anyway. But, uh, you know, SOG Armory lower, uh, rotated up a little, and you see that little gold glint. You know what that means. That is a Timney trigger in there. We have a uh, Strike Industries trigger, trigger guard. guard. Yeah. yeah, I was groping for that word. This is an Ergo Grips uh, branded Blackhawk, but Ergo Grips grip uh, Blackhawk on the um, buttstock as well. Obviously you see the hex mag here. So again, we got two of these kind of Franken build rifles that are a variety of different parts that were sent to us to evaluate. We assembled them all together and I'll tell you what, they seem to be working pretty well. You know, you, you may worry about, you get parts from a variety of different places. How are they going to work? But these seem to be doing real well. Uh, real pleased with all the parts involved here so far. But you're holding a big evolution right here with the side charge. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, personally, I think that these side charge uppers with the charge in hand on uh, over here instead of in the back, I think that's the next big thing in AR-15s and AR platform in general. It's just so much more ergonomic when you're shooting to be able to keep your trigger hand on the trigger or at least on your grip and, you know, able to operate with your offhand, the charging handle, without breaking cheek weld. To me, that's really... Uh, one of the big downfalls ergonomically of the M16 AR-15 platform uh, that has really had some evolutionary improvement with what we see here with the with the side charge. This one from Gip. Yeah, some of the other uh, manufacturers actually uh, drill, tap, and uh, bolt in a handle on the receiver, on the uh, bolt carrier itself. So you can charge it with the left hand, uh, but that will be removing your hand from the trigger. Um, but at the same time, um, anytime you shoot, uh, that handle, that charging mechanism uh, cycles back and forth also. Which, you know, uh, I, saw, I saw one online today yeah. that actually, if you rotate here, they had a cutout on each side. Mm -hmm. And like you said, they drilled and put a little handle in the bolt carrier and it stuck out on each side. So it was ambidextrous, but there's a reciprocating part. I'm actually anxious to try that. I've reached out to a couple companies that make side charge uppers that have a 
uh, reciprocating charge handle. And I like having a non-reciprocating charge handle because I'm clumsy and I'm not that smart. And I know I'm going to hurt myself on it if it's reciprocating, or at least that's what I suspect. So I like the way the Gibbs is designed. But, you know, I'm open-minded, so uh, we'll have to try those out. We'll, we'll see we when we can get some, get some other ones to see how they work. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, guys.